Race 9, Betfred listed chase over 3 miles, 1 furlongs. Wait for the runners. Wait your reply for Leon Van Rensburg, another Eden's favourite. Albano Saints for James Shea along with Bailey Plume. Great White Hope for Joshua Southern. John Spirit for Ryan Costello. Once upon for Paul O'Neill. Cry to me for Daniel French. Mrs. Jody for Del Hinton. Plainly Dangerous for Martin Leader. And Private Benamin for Paul O'Neill. Another 10 to challenge over 3 miles and a furlong. New stables uh, horses here running maidens. First time out. We're going to be led by Baby Plume over the first. And here's Baby Plume. By about three. Back to Albano Saints. Playing dangerous against the fence. The favourite to wait your reply in mid, mid pack. Why the stewards cry to me and Mrs. Jodel. And the first of the greys towards the fences once upon. On the back is Great White Hope. Oh, we've lost one. I wait your reply. It's gone. The, the favourite. If you had your money on that. Bad luck, unlucky for Leon as well. See many Leons in the dirt. And that gives everybody else a great chance here. Comes at the third, it's a plain one, and everybody's over it. And they're being led by Bailey Plume and Albano Saints. And one, two. Go past the winning post. Swing left handed on the hairpin. Everybody starts to tuck over towards the fence. Great White Hope needs to get a little bit more in. Here's Bailey Plume and Albano Saints. They have one, two, and about four back to Plainly Dangerous and John Spirit. And followed through by Cry to Me and Once Upon. That wide Mrs. Joddle, Jody, <laughs> Private Benamin, and Great White Hope. So, plenty of racing to be had and plenty of fences to be taken. So, finally, we'll get to the next. We'll be led over it by Bailey Plume. Something drastic happens. Be a tense few people there. Rah, rah. Long way away from the grandstand. Finally get to the fourth. Everybody jumps out. Big slow jump in second by Albano Saints. Baby Blue, Albano Saints. Take the fifth. Slow jump by the leader. Allow his stable mate to pull alongside. Why now, Great White Hope? Up a little bit. So we go over the six. Or jump there by Mrs. Jody. Back Tom Landon and drops back to the rear. And we've still got two miles to travel. It's Bailey Plume and Albano Saints. And cry to me. Great White Hope on his outside. We go over the seventh. Oh, we've lost another one there. John Spirit's gone. Unlucky for Ryan Costello. Jockey and horse are both up. Albano Saints and Baby Plume together now. Come down to the next one left handed. Take the eighth. Everybody else. Great White Hope pecked on landing. But he's still there. Baby Plume's gone off now as Albano Saints takes a bit of a hold. Drops back into the chasing pack alongside Cry to Me and Once Upon. <coughs> the outside of Once Upon is Private Benaman. He's from uh, the Paul O'Neill stables. Legs back to plainly dangerous against the fence of Martin Leadham. The big grey on the white outside is Great White Hope. And this is Jody just at the rear. A mile and a half still to go. It's still Baby Blue. You can pass the grandstand for the second time. Take the tenth, which is a plain one. Albano Saints against the fence, pushing through Cry to Me. Half length back to Plainly Dangerous. Great White Hope and Mrs. Jody. Go out to the final circuit. Long run to this next jump. Still Bailey Plume from Albano Saints and Once Upon. Anything's got a chance in this, including Mrs. Jody at the back. She's probably got uh, 10 or 11 lengths to find. So a mile from home. Finally get to the eleventh. Baby Plume that's gonna lead them over to us. Don't be a tent again. So Baby Plume leads them over the plane one. We will take it 
well will bark right to me. And get over it well. Fain clues to bleeding for our Fano Saints and two greys once upon a great white hope. Halfling's back to private Benham and it took that well. Extremely dangerous under a bit of pressure now being pushed along. This is a couple once upon a great white hope. I'll chase the leader down as he over the 13th, they're all over it. It's still Bailey Plume is going to swing left handed now. It's a long left turn here. Five furlongs to go. Bailey Plume, Albano Saints, the Great White Hope, the first of the Greys running well now. It's once upon. Probably going to throw down the challenge better. They will get over the 14th well. Only three more to take. And it's Bailey Plume off the bridle and being pushed along now. Lee's still by two, two to three to once upon. Great White Hope and Albano Saints. It's these four. I'm not sure if Private Benjamin's going to catch them from there. The rest are out of it as we swing. Still left handed. It's Bailey Plume from once upon. Albano Saints and Great White Hope is a bit slower than that Bailey Plume. The rest are all over it. But it is Bailey Plume that still leads by length and a half to once upon running. Albano Saints teammates running out of a little bit of steam now. It's Great White Hope with the weight he's carrying. But it's Bailey Plume and once upon. Albano Saints, Great White Hope as they go over the 16th, the penultimate. A little bit of a change there as Albano Saints took it best inside the furlong and a half. And it's Bailey Plume as they come down to the last from Albano Saints once upon and Great White Hope. It's between these four as we come down to a furlong for a home and they approach the last. It's Bailey Plume, Albano Saints once upon and Great White Hope. Oh, and it's a bit of a poor jump there by Bailey Plume that still hangs on to the lead from you. Say, well, mate, Albano Saints, these two are neck and neck. It's going to be Albano Saints that just pushes ahead from Bailey Plume. Once upon got up for third. Great White Hope was fourth. So James Shea takes a 1 2 here. It's the Betfred listed chase. Albino Saints and Bailey Bloom. Once upon. So well done for James Shea there. A 1 and 2. Once upon for Paul O'Neill was third. A couple of maidens there. Bailey Bloom and Once upon. Fourth was Great White Hope. And fifth was plainly dangerous to Martin Leader.